When it comes to solving network problems, intermittent problems are some of the toughest to resolve. You can spend weeks capturing packets, trying to catch the problem when it occurs. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the ProfiTap IOTA to reliably get to the root of those pesky problems. Hello, my name is Mike Panaki. I'm owner of Network Protocol Specialist LLC in Seattle, Washington. I spent a good part of my career helping my clients troubleshoot and fix nagging problems. There are three key steps to resolving intermittent problems. First, we must get in the path of the packets. Second, we need to be able to capture for a long time so we don't miss the problem. Lastly, we need a way to identify when the problem occurs so we can drill down into the trace and find the problem packets. The first step in setting up the IOTA to capture packets is to configure the capture ports. These ports support both span mode and inline mode. In span mode, both ports capture all inbound packets. This is great when connecting to a tap or the span port of a switch. The other mode is inline mode. We'll be using this mode for our demonstration today. I'll log into the IOTA and turn off span mode, which puts it in inline mode. If I'm shipping it out to a customer site, I want to do this before I send it out. The next step is to put it in line between the client PC and the rest of the network. This is a one gig IOTA I'm using today, and it will support full line rate, full duplex gigabit traffic. Not only will it capture the traffic, but the tap is fault tolerant. If the IOTA loses power for any reason, it will continue to pass packets between the computer and the rest of the network. Now that the IOTA is in line, I'll start the capture. No need to log in, it has a physical button for starting and stopping the captures. Pressing the button will start capturing all the packets going between the computer and the rest of the network. To successfully resolve intermittent problems, we must be able to store all the data for a long period of time. We don't know when the problem's going to occur, and a small capture buffer reduces our time window. The IOTA has a one terabyte SSD drive built in. For a typical computer, this means I can capture for days or weeks without losing any data. As the packets are captured, the IOTA is writing them to files and storing metadata about each flow in a searchable database. Now that the capture is running, I'm going to set up a way to mark the capture to show me when the problem occurred. In the past, I would ask the person with having the issue to write down the date and time when the problem occurred. I found this to be very unreliable. A better way is to put a shortcut on their desktop that will send a ping packet each time they click on it, and go back later and search the captured packets for the ping to find out when the problem occurred. In this case, I'm going to ping 12.127.17.72. There's nothing special about this address other than it's very unlikely the client PC would normally access it. I asked the person having the issue to click on the shortcut any time the problem occurs. This will mark the trace file and I can find it when I start troubleshooting. Now let's look at how we find the marker and extract the packets to analyze them in Wireshark. If we start by looking at a 24 hour period, we see that just over six gigabytes were captured. That's a lot of data. I'll start by finding the marker packet. By setting a filter on the IP address of the marker frame, I'm able to see exactly when the client clicked on the shortcut. Now I'll use the mouse to zoom in 10 minutes before the marker and 10 minutes after the marker. This allows me to see what happened before and after the problem occurred. Next, I'll remove the marker filter and set a filter on the IP address of the device having problems. This is as easy as clicking on the magnifying glass next to the IP address. Now I have 110 megabytes of traffic going across the network during that time period. Clicking on Download PCAP will extract those packets to and from the problem PC during the time period to my computer. Now I'll open the trace file up in Wireshark. By applying an IP address filter to the trace file, I can find the marker packet. In this case, we can see the first marker occurred at frame 22,069. Now I know where I should start looking in the trace file. I'll click on the frame and remove the filter to see all the traffic the IOTA captured between the client computer and the rest of the network. Now I know when the problem occurred and I can feel confident I have all the packets. It's just a matter of digging through the trace before the marker to find the issue. 
The Profit Tap IOTA helps us get to the root of intermittent problems by getting in the path of the packets, capturing at full line rate, providing an easy means to filter down on problem packets, and making it easy to extract those packets for analysis. For more information on how you can use the ProfitTap IOTA to troubleshoot your nagging network problems, be sure to visit www.profitap.com. My name is Mike Panaki. Thank you for watching this video.